correctly done or not. Away from that, and the death of one in every five children in Kenya is caused by pneumonia and diarrhea. Research into the respiratory infection is still scarce. This complicates long-term diagnosis for children below the age of five years. And as Caroline B. now reports, this was contained in a speech by Health Cabinet Secretary Cleopa Mailu as he led Kenyans in commemorating the World Pneumonia Day. Take a look. It is estimated every 30 seconds a child dies of pneumonia and a third of children with pneumonia-like symptoms don't seek appropriate treatment, especially in middle-income countries such as Kenya. This worrying rate has led the Ministry of Health, in partnership with stakeholders, to launch a child-friendly dispersible tablet. The tablet, which is an improvement of what's available in the market, is sweet in taste and is expected to reduce the mortality rate of children below five years. We are likely to lose the battles. New approaches are required in management of many conditions, including pneumonia. If you look at uh, the development of amoxicillin, when it was first when it was first developed, it was developed as an injectable formulation. Then came the tablets, and what has most commonly been used for children is a syrup base. The syrup requires you to have clean water to reconstitute the powder, to measure it accurately, and to administer. Vaccin vaccination coverage against common childhood diseases has consistently improved since the year 2000. Access to more children are are accessing safe drinking water, better sanitation, and we, have, we are having improvement in hygiene practices. Kenya joined the rest of the world in commemorating this day as it emerged most of the deaths reported are mostly from the northeastern counties, which are still poverty-stricken and far from development. We often say pneumonia often kills children when there's poverty. Uh, why we say it's why we say that because you know we know children are malnourished, children a lack of access to adequate health facilities. When they when they are sick, for example, when they cold with pneumonia, when they come to the health facility, if in the health facility there's no trained health health worker to provide uh, adequate diagnosis. In 2016. The world lost over 920,000 children um, under the year of five due to pneumonia. More than half of the deaths occur in developing countries, especially in regions where access to functional health facilities is limited. In Kenya, an estimated 11,000 deaths of children occurred in 2016, according to the WHO and UNICEF estimates. Kenya has moved from those 15 countries and is somewhere in the middle now, right now to be to be considered, you know, out of this, out of this, out of this danger diseases. So I think if we just put more effort on this, especially on diarrheal control and pneumonia, and put some more resources, I'm sure we can meet the SDGs. Even though Kenya has made strides in the fight against pneumonia, more is yet to be done in the areas of research, since little information is currently available on the infection. The Ministry of Health is also planning to carry out more civic education as it encourages mothers to take their children to hospitals in time for treatment. The new tablet is set to be rolled out in public hospitals and other health facilities in the country.